So this is part two of upgrading the uh, MacBook Pro. This is a 2009 A12 model. And um, first thing that you want to do to replace the RAM is take off your cover, of course. I already did that. It's just a few Phillips screws. And then second thing you want to do is go ahead and remove your battery or remove your battery connector because you don't want to fry anything while doing this. So uh, to go ahead and remove the RAM, what you have to do is get a spudger or whatever. You could even use your fingers if you want, which is actually what I'm going to do. And get these two little clips right here and pull out with them. And then out will come one RAM module. And then down here is the second one. And I like using a spudger for this. So do that on the bottom one. And you also have to push out the top one again. And then it will finally come out just like that. And um, now what I'm going to do is open up the, we're doing unboxing on this. So let's go ahead and pop this open. There we go. We have the RAM module right here. Set it off to the side and then just the paperwork, nothing else. Toss it off to the side and get out the RAM here. So links will be in the description if you want to go pick this up on Amazon. And there they are, our beautiful RAM modules. And uh, let's go ahead and install these. It doesn't matter if you uh, put like that one in the bottom or this one in the bottom, it doesn't matter at all. But um, of course you do have to do the bottom first. And by the way, Max will not take uh, mismatched RAM. So if you have like a four gigabyte stick in the bottom and a two in the top, it will not boot. It has to be, um, or I might be wrong about that. I'm not quite sure. You would have to do your research on that. Anyways, let's get this one installed. And it has to go in there. I'm in no way a professional, but I'm just showing you what I'm doing. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to figure out how to put that in. So I'll be back with you right, guys. Let's go ahead and turn this on. There we go. Let's go ahead and wait for it to boot up. Now, if you want to go ahead and watch part one, you could go look at the uh, first video of the series, which was upgrading the thermal paste. And then the third part that is coming is uh, putting in this SSD. So it's 250 gig. We'll be doing that in just a few seconds. Uh, once I make sure this thing is all good and that all the RAM is uh, working just fine so let's go ahead and wait for it here actually you know what I'll just start the clip whenever it boots right, so up. boot it up and as you can see 8 gigabyte DDR3 so I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and play a game on here and just see how it's performing and uh, I'm not gonna film that so if you want to go ahead and see me installing this SSD Go click on the third part of this series, and uh, yeah, so that's it for this video. Installing the RAM, pretty easy.